Hey everyone, I'm Bruce. For years, VR fanatics have waited with bated breath for Valve to step back into the spotlight and unveil its next big move in virtual reality hardware. Following the enduring popularity of the Valve Index, whispers of a follow-up codenamed Deckard have fueled speculation and excitement across the industry. Now, thanks to new findings from data mining legend Brad Lynch and his Discord community, we finally have a clearer idea of what Valve has been cooking up behind closed doors. A proof-of-concept model of Deckard, dubbed POCF, has surfaced in Steam VR code, revealing two KLCD panels, Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, and a slew of next-gen features like inside-out tracking, eye tracking, and hand tracking. But before you start throwing money at your screen, it's important to note, these specs don't necessarily represent the final shipping version of the headset. Still, they offer a tantalizing glimpse into what Valve has experimented with, and possibly what's coming soon. Let's break down what Deckard's proof of concept tells us about Valve's grand vision for the future of PC and standalone VR. And hey, if you're hyped for next-gen headsets and love VR deep dives, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, because the Deckard saga is just getting started. Deckard, the long-rumored next step in Valve's VR lineup. Ever since the release of the Valve Index in 2019, fans have been eager to know what Valve would do next in the VR space. While other players like Meta, Pico, and even Apple have been moving rapidly in various directions, either prioritizing standalone form factors or pushing display technology, Valve has remained unusually quiet. Yet, the silence has been far from inactivity. References to a mysterious new headset called Deckard have appeared repeatedly in Steam VR's code, uncovered by the relentless work of community sleuths. Over the years, Deckard has become more than a rumor. It's a slow-moving wave-building momentum behind the scenes. Valve has dropped hints in interviews, such as in their Steam Deck OLED discussions, and even listed job openings referencing camera pass-through, hand tracking and eye tracking, features that strongly suggest a next-gen standalone or hybrid VR headset. Now, with the discovery of seven separate pre-production models, from early proof-of-concept POC devices to the latest engineering validation units EV1 and EV2, we can start to piece together what kind of headset Deckard might actually be. The POCF build, 2K LCD panels and inside-out tracking. The most intriguing revelation from Lynch's data mining group centers around the specifications of Deckard POCF, one of the more recent proof-of-concept units unearthed in Steam VR's code. This prototype reportedly included dual 2160 by 2160 LCD panels running at 120 Hz, a setup that's not radically ahead of Meta's Quest 3, which sports a similar per-eye resolution. However, where Deckard may set itself apart is in clarity, refresh rate stability, and headset form factor, thanks to Valve's history of meticulous calibration and hardware tuning. While it doesn't match the pixel-dense micro OLED displays of the Apple Vision Pro 3660 by 3200 per eye, the POCF's LCDs still provide a solid balance of sharp visuals and high refresh rate ideal for maintaining comfort in fast-moving games like Half-Life Alex or upcoming PC VR titles. Plus, LCDs typically offer higher brightness than OLED, and with Valve's image tuning expertise, the visual experience may still outshine competitors, particularly for users playing wireless PC VR via streaming. The unit was also equipped with four world-facing tracking cameras, suggesting inside-out tracking a la MetaQuest, and two internal eye tracking cameras, which implies not just gaze detection, but potential support for foveated rendering. This is significant because it aligns with Valve's known interest in low-latency wireless VR, where foveated rendering could massively reduce bandwidth requirements by rendering only the part of the scene you're looking at in full resolution. Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, a surprising choice. Perhaps the most eyebrow-raising spec from Deckard POCF is its Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chipset. Unlike Meta's Quest 3 and Pico 4 Ultra, which both run on the Snapdragon XR2 Gen 2, Valve's prototype was reportedly packing a more general-purpose SoC intended for flagship Android smartphones. This is a bold move, considering the XR2 series is purpose-built for VRAR headsets. So why go with Snapdragon 8 Gen 3? Simple. Performance and efficiency. The Gen 3 is built on a newer architecture and boasts a 25% performance increase and 25% better power efficiency over the XR2 Gen 2. For a device that may support both standalone and PC VR modes, this could be Valve's attempt to ensure Deckard can hold its own in native VR without needing a full gaming PC. It also opens the door for flexibility in use cases. If you're running lightweight games natively, 
using the headset as a media consumption device, or wirelessly streaming high-fidelity PC content via Wi-Fi 6E or future Wi-Fi 7 tech, Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 gives Valve a lot of headroom. Inside-out tracking and controller integration Valve has long been associated with external tracking systems, thanks to the Index's reliance on Lighthouse base stations. But with Deckard, the shift is clear. This headset seems poised to embrace inside-out tracking in a big way. Four world-facing cameras suggest robust room-scale tracking without external sensors, making setup far easier and more portable. And then there are the ROY controller models found in Steam VR code. These look a lot like Quest 3's Touch Plus controllers, suggesting that they too are tracked by the headset's onboard cameras. If Valve can combine their legendary controller ergonomics with the freedom of inside-out tracking, Deckard could offer the best of both worlds. No base stations, no compromises. This also implies seamless support for full 6 degrees of freedom 6DOF tracking and hand presence, which is crucial for both gaming and enterprise VR. Combined with eye tracking, this makes Deckard a serious contender for next-gen social VR platform, enterprise training apps, and immersive simulations. Don't assume the final Deckard will be the same. Here's the catch. As exciting as these discoveries are, we have to remind ourselves that this was just a proof of concept. Valve's development timeline is extensive. Some of the POC models discovered date back four years, and Deckard POCF could already be obsolete internally. The most recent unit found, EV2, may represent a radically different configuration, with different displays, so C, or form factor. Valve is notorious for experimentation. The Steam controller went through numerous revisions before release. The Index had several hidden hardware capabilities that were only partially realized. So, while POCF gives us insight into what Valve could be building, it's not a promise, it's a peek behind the curtain. That said, the convergence of high-refresh 2K panels, advanced inside-out tracking, eye tracking, and Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 paints a clear picture. Deckard is a serious next-gen headset, even if the specifics evolve before launch. What we might expect in the final Deckard If rumors are true, Valve may be eyeing a late 2025 launch, potentially with a price point around $1,200. This would place it above Quest 3 but below Apple Vision Pro, squarely targeting enthusiasts and PC VR loyalists. And if Valve bundles the headset with first-party games or demos, that could help justify the premium. We may also see a hybrid model, one that supports wireless PC VR streaming, native app playback, and perhaps even modular accessories. Valve's modular index already hinted at this design philosophy, and with Deckard's rumored form factor, they could double down on customizability. Of course, compatibility with Steam VR accessories, OpenXR, and existing index controllers could ensure that Deckard doesn't just build a new platform, it enhances the one Valve's already invested in. The emergence of the Valve Deckard POCF gives us a rare, tantalizing glimpse into the inner workings of Valve's hardware development lab. With 2K LCD panels, Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, eye tracking, and a bold shift to inside-out tracking. This prototype represents Valve's intent to redefine what a high-performance VR headset can be, without tying users down to base stations and cables. But as always with Valve, patience is part of the package. The Deckard we eventually get may differ wildly from the version unearthed in the code, but one thing is certain, Valve is playing for keeps. And if you're just as excited as we are to see how it all turns out, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, because you can bet we'll be tracking every frame, leak, and launch as the Decker journey continues.